Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with one of these funky Mr. fans. The, this one happens to be called an IE Grow. And actually, I've had this sitting around for a while. I bought it just to fiddle around with, really just to take it apart. Because I kind of like taking apart things like this. This is one of these built-in, uh, this is one of those personal cooling fans. But it also has one of these little built-in misters. So that's a piezoelectric mister. It's like a, a little flat speaker, a beeping type of speaker. And it's set up at a certain frequency and it's connected to this water reservoir. Has a little dimple in it if we can get this camera to cooperate. And that little dimple kind of helps focus the mist. And so the idea is that it is a little fan that can also blow some cool water on you. And there are a ton of these things and none of them ever really work. And the only ones that do work put out a ton of water and you get basically soaked. A lot of, there's, some people like these things. A lot of people had complaints. And of course, because it puts out just such a minimal amount of water. And what's kind of funny about these things, one, Amazon, there's hundreds of reviews, which means they probably sold a few thousand of them. This thing's almost 20 bucks. And how... It's just surprising the you know the sales pitch to make something like this because there's a lot of different molded pieces. All those molds have to be cut, made in mold making machines. The molds for these really complicated fan grills right here, that's a lot of CNC machine work. That's an expensive uh, mold. Built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery. It's just surprising the amount of effort that goes into these. It has a high and low battery and then lights for the different modes. Uh, for something that... <laughs> isn't very effective and one of the things i was going to show the big issue is this doesn't put out enough water if we do the misting mode here and i'm going to hold it against this rag it literally is, is like a nightclub fogging i'm going to hold it here for a while this is a blue shop towel rag uh definitely very absorbent look we're getting just a little bit of moisture there so that's the biggest one of the big issues the second thing is when you turn on the fan it just has so much turbulence that none of that water actually hits you. And so the idea is that you get wet. As the water evaporates, it requires energy cooling you off. And then the fan assists that. And the fan's kind of weak. And it just is like one of those a fogging machine for one of like those little desktop kind of zen waterfall things. That's about the power of it. And so that's always been kind of the issue with these. Is once again, you know, you need a big battery and a good fan to actually keep you cool. And if you're going to actually swamp cool, which is kind of what these water-based coolers are called, they make giant ones like Napa Auto Parts and those type of places sell huge shop-sized versions of these. But they work a little bit different. They have these panels, which are kind of like filters, but they run water through them. And the fan blows through those panels uh, to help give you a little bit of uh, high humidity cooling air. It's just they need a lot of water and something like this doesn't work. But I figured let's uh, take it apart and just take a quick look inside. So this thing uh, is either snap or glued together. I can kind of feel a little bit of flex. So I figured these panels are snapped together. And I'm just going to try to use a screwdriver here just to pop them off. I don't know how success a lot of times you got to put quite a bit of effort in there. And in this one I can see it wanting to pop up. but I'm going to need a heftier screwdriver. Aha, after damaging, I should have known it was the back cover that snaps off. Then we have our six screws to get in there. They're just using a regular brush DC motor. It's not even like a, a brushless computer fan motor. Surprising, well, not so surprising, but you'd think for almost 20 bucks, they at least put in a brushless motor. There we go, got that. The screws hold on the front cover that I was prying too much, and then here's a better look at our piezo uh, unit kind of captured in here via either a twist or a just a compression clamp it seems like it's just a compression fitting right here that's just what holds in the little speaker there's going to be a little seal around it indeed there is so if we get right on the edge of that seal and there it is it's just like a I mean it is it's a piezo tweeter or speaker that's just been modified a little bit to be a mister. What's interesting is how it kind of draws water through the back. I can people did have some complaints with it leaking. I can see why the seal right here isn't completely closed at the bottom. And so that would allow if it wasn't perfectly in there it would allow water to uh, seep out. If I actually pull this unit out of there that's just a 
a little o-ring there it goes and then here's the actual driver it's kind of interesting I don't know if there's just a tiny microscopic hole in the middle there uh, that's driving it or if it somehow makes it around the edge but it's kind of interesting that you can just put this little device in front of a water reservoir and it will actually mist it we have a pretty complicated board here because it acts as a charging board for the lithium ion we of course have our blue LED lights here for the indication and then we have a special driver circuit and I can see the transformer I assume that's for uh, running this tweeter itself and really here's the rest of it there's actually nothing on the back side of this board uh, so it's all the wizardry is just being done by that little circuit there's another little chip down here I'm not sure what those do but this is a 2000 milliamp hour uh, just regular plug-in lithium-ion battery so the battery is actually pretty easy to replace because you just open it up and pop this out and and swap it and it does have a protection circuit but you can see that's integrated into the side of the battery but that could be handy for uh, a variety of projects anyway that was a quick little look at the device it's a cheesy device that I don't you know obviously don't recommend but it's just kind of interesting to get in there and just say wow you know for something that doesn't really work very well uh, it, I mean real people's lot time and lives and engineering and testing and 3d printing uh, reservoirs and uh, all this kind of stuff making these you know charging and driving boards and lithium-ion batteries is an awful lot of work and you find I find it sometimes a little bit surprising how uh, these products you know kind of come to be and then during testing you know how could they not notice that you know it actually doesn't really cool you very well it tends to make more noise than anything else so anyway that was just a interesting little video and a little tear down one of these little things I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and I actually really appreciate the couple people who bought uh, a couple stickers and tote bags from my uh, Teespring merch shop I really appreciate that a bunch and if you haven't subscribed to the Caddis Maximus channel please do until next time Caddis Maximus out